For more videos visit for the sake of education dot com. Alright guys, let's do this problem where it says a ball is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 50 meters per second. Determine the time of flight when it returns to its original position. Alright guys, so the ball is going to go up and eventually gravity is going to catch up and it's going to stop. So when it's at the maximum height, the velocity is going to be zero. And then the ball is going to start coming down and eventually it's going to reach its original position. So we know that the starting velocity is v naught is 15 meters per second. Now from here to here it's going to take a time that's called t1 and from here to the bottom it's going to take another length of time which we're going to call t2. Now you know that v is equal to v naught plus a times t. v is the velocity, v knows the initial velocity, a is the acceleration and t is the time. Now, from here to its maximum height, you know that v at the maximum height is zero because eventually gravity catches up and the velocity becomes zero. v naught is given at 15 plus a is the acceleration of gravity, which is negative 9.81 meters per second square, and t is t1, the time at the maximum height. So when you solve for t1, you get that t1 is equal to 1.529 seconds. However, they're asking you for the time where the ball returns to its original position. Now, if from here to here it took 1.529 seconds and the acceleration doesn't change, the acceleration of gravity is going to be the same, by the time it reaches the same spot it's going to be the same amount of time. So t2 is equal to t1 times 2. So t2 is equal to 3.06 seconds. Final answer. It takes the ball 3.06 seconds to return to its original position. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.